Howdy folks, it's Donald Ward McCarthy here with 311 Realty Group. We're wrapping up the year pretty much early to mid-December. We've seen our um, recent uh, interest rate hike on December 7th. In the morning, we got another uh, 50 basis points of an interest rate hike. We're into December now and we are experiencing the activity is slowing down from a demand perspective and a supply perspective as well too. So just in a nutshell, what we've been told uh, from the Toronto Real Estate Board for the GTA market, our prices are down seven and a half, seven point two percent since last year. But let's take a closer look at what this actually looks like in terms of month over month. That's what we like to look at more right now. Average price here, you can see again, we've been looking at this chart all year. Price is pretty much leveled out since July. We had a twenty percent drop from February to July. And we've pretty much seen a stagnation in terms of prices because again in toronto we still have a supply problem when we look at this chart okay you can see here again lots of supply at the start into march which started waning quite rapidly and this is in november again supply to quite a low amount there as well as demand again demand was very high going into march and because of the interest rate hikes and everything and the uncertainty with our global market, global economics, I should say, we saw demand, our, yeah, demand come down to a very low level for November. Pretty much the same story in uh, December. It's going to be, I would imagine, because that typically happens at this time of the year. One thing we're noticing is that the first two weeks, two and a half weeks, typically in December, there is still a lot of activity. We're actually seeing that has died down a bit earlier this year. Anyways. Let's go back to interest rate discussion. We saw that 0.5% Bank of Canada uh, interest rate last week. Their wording has changed. It's a little bit optimistic, a little bit more optimistic where the wording back in the October hike was we will need to rise further. Interest rates will need to rise further. They're now in their wording. They're saying they will consider that. So not a definite no, but they will consider rate hikes. So we are expecting that in January, we will likely see a hike. It could be upwards of another 0.5%, but hopefully they'll feel that inflation is, is getting, we're getting a hold on, on the inflationary circumstance and maybe it'll only a 0.25 uh, rate interest rate. After that, again, it's an unknown, as I've mentioned to you folks in the past, we really only have control over 35% of that inflationary factor that's occurring right now because energy is, is out of our hands. It's more of a global issue. Supply chain, again, a global issue, even though we are starting to see an ease up in that regard. Supply chain is, uh, we're getting, we're starting to see stuff coming through now. So hopefully that will lessen even to a greater degree. And uh, we'll have um, either a zero or a 0.25 interest rate hike. But I would say to be on the cautious side, possibly budget, be prudent and budget for a 0.5% interest rate hike in, in January. So there you have it, folks. I wish you all happy holidays from us here at 311 Realty. There is opportunity there to still sell or buy in this market because of our supply being so low on the selling side. There is that you can still sell. We are still seeing it happen, although at a slower degree for sure, indeed. And for the buyers, there are certain scenarios that you can take advantage of as well too in the current climate for those that need to solve. Listen, have a wonderful holiday season. We'll connect with you all in early 2023. Take care. Ciao.